Hi there, it's George Grey at Greyland Dome Accessories. It is the 18th of March 2014. This bag you're looking at is a PL series, professional level series bag, and it has been manufactured specifically for a good friend and colleague of mine and an excellent drummer, <coughs> great accordion player actually, Nicky McMeekin. So I just let me take you through some features of this bag and post this video on both Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully drum up some support. It has a red tartan. That there is all hung sound tartan actually. The two hooks you see, these are for hanging telescopic metal brushes with the hooks. And the pouch you see below that, where my hand is going, is a music pouch, what I call the music pouch. You can put an A4 folder in there, maybe not a big folder, but certainly sheets of music. Uh, Again, matching pouch on that side, you could quite easily put a drum mic or something in there. These there are the drum flutes, drumstick flutes, six of them. So, the reason for that is to put the drumsticks in. I just don't understand why nobody did this before, and I think it's a good feature without being arrogant. It's all made out, the interior, of heavy duty canvas. A heavy duty zip, surrounding right around there. These clips, you see, it's what I call the floor tom log rack. These are elasticated. That rack there is supported, reinforced, and these will go and clip onto the lugs of your floor tom. I'll also put a couple of other badges in. Hope you can read that. Made in Alawa, Scotland, UK. Design and manufacture big drilling drum accessories. And on this one, grilling drum accessories, keeping drummers rolling. The founder which is me. Very substantial bag. I decided to, to make them heavy duty. Fiddlers put their bows and the fiddles in cases. Worth a lot of money. If you're a saxophonist you have padded cases. Trumpet player, padded cases. Why not treat your drumsticks good? It's an instrument like everything else. That's my point. That's my argument. So the heavy duty zip, again, I've put webbing on the inside just to tidy it up. I think it gives it a touch of class. And if I move it over, hopefully without dropping it, you will see how substantial they're made. It comes back into focus. This one is about 95% finished. I need to touch up that edge there. But you can see the zip there. The red webbing's from another project. And there you go, open it up inside. Heavy duty zip. Got a substantial bag, black vinyl, and there's a grayling badge. So this one is for Nicky McMeekin. The retail on these is going to be um, £35, British pounds sterling, so you can work that out. They are heavy duty, so they're worth that. And I do believe it's I'm putting a good product on the market here. So £35. If I need to post them out other than UK. I will need to obviously email you and give you a quote, etc, etc. Put along on to Facebook, Grayling Drum Accessories, you'll see my page. It's been a long, long process. That's got a new sewing machine there. Various bits and pieces, these are all new bags, all ready to go. That's a grey one there, with the Dress McKenzie tartan. And that might have either black or green webbing around the outside, I'm still working on that one. So go to Facebook, Greenland Drum Accessories. <clears throat> you will find some of these videos on YouTube. I'm just putting them on my own channel. My username is 1981TurboTransam1. Uh, I will be posting these videos on there. I will be setting up a PayPal account, things like that. But the easiest way to get in touch with me is just send me a message on Facebook or email me. My own email address is biggeordegray at aol.com or easier. Just email me at greylandrumaccessories at aol.com. I will pick your email up or just message me straight on Facebook on my page. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to posting many, many more. And getting a fair bit of progress done tonight. Hopefully a lot of that material will be tidied up tonight. And there will be a lot more bags ready. I have been getting inquiries for them on both sides of the Atlantic. Especially the American side, that really has brought a smile on my face. The fact that uh, 
people in America are interested in these. It has been said that it's a tartan that's doing it. A touch of Scotland, which is good. One thing I forgot to say, they're padded. There is a padding in there, there's a foam, a foam sheet in there. So they're padded, they're heavy duty, they're quite heavy. And they're quite big. But, big is beautiful. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Okay, so, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your interest and uh, hope to speak to you all soon on Facebook or by email. Thank you.